Very good. Uh, which change gears to Cavs. Speaking of the Cavs. Man, oh man. What? So they get housed yeah. by Atlanta, yeah. a team that they should have no problem. I don't care where the game is played. They should win that. They give 136 points. So apparently defense was optional for the Cavaliers that night. Um, that was their third straight loss, which was troubling because it carried over through the All-Star break. They won the game before or lost the game before the All-Star break. Yeah. Then the next two. Then yesterday they come out, and I know Toronto was playing on very short rest. Yeah. And Toronto's um, not that good. Well, Toronto was 3-0 and against the Cavs, though. For not That's being true. a they very good team, going into yesterday. they were hot coming in, and they had the Cavs yep. number, and the Cavs made that one look pretty easy. So, at the top of the show, I said this. I think in the span of... 48 hours, we saw the, the the ceiling and we saw the floor. How good this team can be and how bad this team can be. Brad, what? Well, who are they? Well, first of all, I don't, I don't, I don't kind of look at it like that. You, the one thing that I don't think people take into account is it's typically tough the first few games after the All-Star game. Right, especially if you've had well, then play. it is for everybody. Well, if you follow the Clippers struggling, uh, there are a number of teams out here that come back from the All Star break and not really get. But it. half of them have to win and half of them have to but lose. But I'm just telling you what it, what the deal is, right? The deal is it used to be the All Star game used to be a game, so the, your best players went down there and played in a game, right? This has turned to a side freak show. It and is, so, and so what has happened now is Donovan Mitchell, I think only responded back yesterday after playing the All-Star game where he had to perform trying to be the MVP in Utah and all the little side things that go on and where you saw a guy like Jokic who did nothing. He went down there, played a few minutes and sat down. Right. right. And he came back and he was pretty much on point. Right. So I was I said, let me get a few games under my belt after this All-Star break because I just know how it works. And then last night I was going to say I was going to start to con- be concerned if they didn't respond against Toronto. And then they responded against Toronto. But to your point, I just say this, you know, I think the focus now is that your eight, nine ro- man rotation has to be solidified here and you're going with what you got. It doesn't seem like any more is coming in here. I'm not sure that Danny Green is even being this factory in here. I mean, they didn't put him into the last few minutes of the right. game uh, yesterday. So it looks like we have what we have. And the guys that you're depending on are going to have to get you over the hump. Man, look, Jay, man, it's, it, 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 it's, it's time you start looking at JB. That game, that game against the Hawks, yeah, you came back to beat Toronto. It's time to start looking at him because, you know, we look at all the other teams in town, and it's, some, it's weird because the Cavs are, have really good young talent. They got really nice guys, and, they, you know, we like their core. But some of the stuff that he, he you know, he says sometimes it baffles me. You know, when you come out and you, you get 81 hung on you against the Hawks, 81 points and a half, right? My thing is, that isn't, that's beyond being tired or because of the all-star break, or that's beyond, a hey, we didn't execute. That didn't come to play. Yeah. 81? And so while I'm looking at JB, and I'm looking at saying, listen, when you consistently go to the press conferences and the first thing you say is we're young, that's a built-in excuse. At some point in time, you're not young no more. You hear you 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 you, you t- he should be coming in that locker room and say guys remember last year let's go watch last year's film when we was doing the same stuff it's a different group of people but the the, the message is is still re- it's it resounds with everyone we were we were head and shoulders playing better in the first half all star break came and then we got injuries we got hurt and you know where we ended up at we're not doing that this year. We, we didn't come out ready to play against Philadelphia. You see what happened. I told you after that game. Denver, we fought hard, but yes, but we still didn't execute. But this game, you got 81? Eight? No. Uh, I, 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 hold on, hold on. You, you get, you get, gee, I, you, my, you my dude, but you get sideways on this thing. So when you, you, you talk about uh, Philly, right? That's one of the top teams in the, in the league here. But they didn't come to play, though. But the problem here, that's not the problem. You're facing tough competition. This is a young team, right? And there is no, there's no sugar. You can't compare last year to this year. You're in the moment that you are in, right? And you, you have injected a new factor into this game, into the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell uh, is working his way. I told you last week, he's the closer. At times, they get confused on who the closer is, right? right. Yesterday, he was a closer. So let me ask you this question: The, the game before, when okay. you get when you get a guy like Mobley with 31, he gets no touches in the four. So I'm looking at it like JB, 
Call them over here and say, look, dog, get him involved. Hey, get him a ball. Call a play for him. Run something for him. And if they're not getting him the ball, guys, listen, we got some down is low. That, is that JB or is that <laughs> you, Donovan you, and you, Well, here, it, 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 it's on Mobley. You want the ball? I didn't see him begging for the ball down here. I didn't see him standing in the three-point lane like you was over no, this but ball. No, the coach decides he's going to get a player involved. That's here. That's fine. At some point, it's on the player, too. Right, because if if, I, if if you have the ball, you have the ball, and you not give me the ball, you know what I'm gonna do, Jay? I know you're gonna. I'm gonna stand it. right in three second key, just right here. Yep. Whoop, three seconds, come back down. Whoop, three seconds. That's yeah. throw the ball into me again. I, that's what the forwards and centers on my bat. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's what we. That's what's, what I'm saying. And it led to one in eight. My point is, he, my point is this: seven. he's coming. He's not there yet. Because he has yet to learn how to demand the ball. Right. That's the thing that comes along as you get older. But when you're younger, JB is saying, all right, well, listen, like you got to think about it. Sometimes Kobe wasn't going to throw the ball to Shaq. Sometimes he just wasn't going to do it. This is what I'm feeling like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Darius Garland, I heard Greg Schwartz say this. I talked to Greg. He said, look, Darius got 33 points. He had two assists. Mm -hmm. He wants to prove to people that he should have been an all-star this year. Mm -hmm. He feels like they, he got a chip on his shoulder because he looks at their numbers and, and how comparable it was, and he wants to prove that. Now, I said, there ain't no problem with that. But for me, I feel like Darius Garland is much better suited at 22 and about 8, 9, 10 assists. Well, absolutely. Run those numbers back you just put up. That's when he's at his best. That's it, right there. Yes, absolutely. Right there. And, and he's getting confused well, like he needs that's to be what, this third. That's when he's at his best for this team. Yes, right, but that's, that's, that's what they need. They need everybody to be at their best with this team. You, I, I, I don't know. You said that Donovan Mitchell was the closer in the right. It's easy to close a game when you're up by 20. No. I want to I want to see him. Brad, I want to see him close a game against a top-tier playoff team that's a so one- or two-point game the last so two minutes. So let's talk about how, that's what I want. That doesn't count. Hold on, hold on. Here, let's not, let's not I, use the word close. Let's talk about how you close. This is how you close, right? You're seeking out the ball. Your teammates are seeking you out, right? Yeah. You're the one. Sure. Right? I'm not sure that has always been the case down every game here that down the stretch, we're looking for the one. No, it probably hasn't. No. And so when you have that's that, a problem. there's some, there, there's some, there's some, what do you call it? We got to tinker with this jockeying. thing. It's some it's jockeying a, yeah. here for the position. Right. Now it requires if, if Bull is the closer and I feel like I'm the closer, unless I acquiesce to Bull so that the rest of us know that where we're going here. You got a tug of war. You got something going on here and it's yeah. not intentional. No, no, no. It just happens, right? right? It, they're Brad, not bad guys you, or nothing. Let me ask you this. We, we have about six weeks, six weeks and change till the yeah. end of the season. At this point in the year, we know the Cavs are probably going to be the four seed, right? I mean, it's possible they could yeah. move up. It's possible they could drop. Right. But most likely they're going to be the four seed. That's what you're targeting. Are, is everything you're doing now getting ready for the playoffs? Is it there is. a sense of that? And, and, and so maybe there's going to be some nights in the regular season, especially in this NBA, where the players don't play every day like they did when you played, that it doesn't – maybe even it doesn't matter if we win tonight. I, I don't know. Is there, is there some of that? Well, this is – you're, you're into the, the, the 20 range – games left, right? I think about 17, 18, so, right? So yeah. this is this is this is where you are honing in on what we're about to do here. Rotations, mm -hmm. right? You got time to be tinkering with rotations. Mm -hmm. I was like I said, when I saw Danny get in the last two minutes, I said, I don't know if they're gonna have any room for Danny here. Right? Jetty was a D right. DMP uh, last right. week. Because last you have to start week. solidifying where we're going so people know what their roles are here, right? right? It cannot be game by game. The second thing is here, some of the onus is on the play. Some of the onus is obviously on the coaches. JB sure. got to say, this is what we're doing, right? And figure it out any distraction. The second thing is, the third thing is this. The onus is on the players to accept the roles and responsibilities to make the team move forward, right? Right. Irrespective of how much gas you think you got in the tank here, sure. right? And so when I see 18, 11, and three, that means you 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 scored 18 points, you've given up 11 assists, which could be a minimum 22, 22 points, a and minimum, maybe more, likely yeah. more. All right. So a minimum of 22 points. So you put 40, 40 on the board. And that's right? your job. And that's the job. Yep. That's the job of the day. Right? And what bothered me is, and I don't know how true this is, if it was you just kind of 
trying to jump in his mind, but if he is really trying to prove to people he should have been an all-star, that's not what you should this, be this doing right now. Yeah, that that. That yeah, no, you know what? You can prove everybody wrong by taking this team on a playoff. Right, right. right. And right. as for JB, it's going to come down to the playoffs. If I the agree. Cavs get swept in the first round or lose in five games, I think he's gone. I do too. Now, maybe it's different because Dan Gilbert is not running the show day to day like he used to. Right. But like, you can't like last year was a he, we, it was an exciting season, but it ended in major disappointment that they didn't even really make the playoffs. They just made the play in. If they this year don't even like if they lost a, a, a hard battled seven game series, maybe I could live with that. But if they go out with a whimper in the playoffs in the yeah. first round, it's not going to be a good look. I, you got to, you I, have to consider changing the. Yeah, game I, I just point. don't think you could keep, continue using the trope of your young. Get, yeah, I get you. It gets you. It gets you. Yeah. It gets you one day. Mike, I just sent you a clip. I want you to point, bring this clip up on the screen for people. While you're doing you. that, by the way, um, off topic, but <laughs> don't look now. The Lakers are three and a half games from the four spot. I saw it. I saw it. I With mean, a 27 point close yesterday, I was like, Yeah, Whoa. I told, I told that was the biggest comeback of the year. Right? I, I told you LeBron's the, in that mode. The, like, He's the back. Mo- the moves they made for D'Angelo Russell, yeah, uh, Beasley, the just getting got, Russell Westbrook well, out of town. The radar, right? What's his name? Uh, the big kid they got from Minnesota is really good. I like Jen and Ver- yeah. Vanderbilt played awesome. Vanderbilt, yesterday. right? Well, he's a good player. What's interesting about the Lakers now is it, I mean, it's I hate to say that he wasn't engaged, but when LeBron said at at the all-star break right. that these last 23 games are the most important regular season games I've ever played. It told me one thing. Russell's out of town. I'm ready to ball now. Let's go. Yeah, you don't want to go out. With I would either. not want yeah. I would not want to face the Lakers. And in the there's West. no standout team in the West. No, no. I mean, mm-hmm. Denver, I think is starting to separate itself more and more. But Are they? They well, always flame out in the playoffs though. Well, th- what I'm saying in the regular yeah. season right now, they're separating right. themselves from everyone else. Now, if history holds, yeah, they won't. They won't have playoff success. But I would not want to see LeBron and the Lakers and, in the West right. Conference. So, Phoenix playoffs. is dangerous, but will they stay so healthy? You, you, I know you, that's their you, biggest. Show on every level. You talk about coaching and focus, players focus, mm-hmm. coaches focus, and understanding the mission. Right. Yeah. That's what. That's what all sports are about. Understanding. I'm gonna set this clip up. So, the Turks play Maryland. Turks played Ohio State. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. On Friday, bar and burner to the end. Great game. Who won? Uh, barely won. Nice. Right, but by two at the end. How'd your girl on. do? Well, she struggled. Did she, she? She struggled. She had seven, but played decent. Right. It's always tough coming back home. But I want to give you, uh, I would ask Mikey to bring up this clip. This is Brenda Freeze, the head coach of Maryland, coaching the Terrapins, but she's telling Cheyenne at this point. You got volume on this, Mike? No, no, we no, can't, play can't audio. do it through tag. All right. What is she saying? So what she's saying, wow. you see it right she's there. You, she's telling Shane, you got to show up. You got to show up today. That's this is in the this in the third, fourth quarter here, right? Did she tell you that or wow. you sitting close enough to hear it? No, I was sitting right behind that. Oh, but okay. but Cheyenne is not bothered by it. the rest of the, they're not bothered. But Cheyenne wasn't bothered by that. And then Cheyenne came out and went to work because she was like she wasn't there. Right, so that was a wake-up call. Well, because she had, we had she had fifty people at the game, right? You, you, Jay, you can understand the number of distractions. Sure, that oh, absolutely, here. yeah. Coming back to Ohio is always a distraction, right? If you're not from, if you're not. But playing her coach it. was smart enough to recognize that and, and had to pull her into the moment. Yeah, like pull you in here because I like that fire. We, by the way, we're in a dog fight I, here. Listen, we're in a dog fight yeah. here. Nice. And if you get a chance, go to Twitter. It's on there. She's like, you got to show up. You better show up today. And I was like, wow. whoa. How early or late in that? This in was the in the fourth quarter when Diamond Miller had just gotten foul trouble. So Cheyenne's the second leading scorer here. But Cheyenne had, at that point, Cheyenne had zero. Wow. Seven points scored after that. Yes. In the fourth quarter. Yes. And, and, and likely I, the difference and in the I game. And I told her, I said, every one of those points was Made significant. It. Yeah. Right. I like that fight. You know what, Brad? That just goes to show you, for all y'all people out there, analytics and numbers. Analytics ain't, ain't just you know numbers. At the end of the day, you could do both. You can have some sort of heart and soul and no numbers too. She she was her coach was was smart enough to recognize the analytics. You wasn't doing nothing. That's zero. I know how to coach that. You got to do something and you got to be aggressive with it. That I need. Who's the first analytics coach that's gonna really be like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in your in, in your butt if you ain't doing what we what I need you to do. Plus. I, I know analytics. Okay. I ain't seen them. Because it's all about coaching. I don't talk about Stefanski. No, you know what? We, have, all, them, we have them in the Guardians' it, dugout. It, it, it's all about coach. Here, here's, here's Brenda's response. Because uh, Cheyenne's response, she tweeted after the game. She said, 
I deserve this. Now that she put the clip, she's I deserve this. She's like, I'm laughing <laughs> about it now, but I deserve this. Good. So Brenda responds and says this on Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter. Brenda <laughs> says players that want to uh, players that want to be great. You can coach hard. I love coaching Cheyenne Sellers. Terrific response from her after being challenged. It's what makes her so special, right? She's like, she not afraid. And she'll do any one of her people. It doesn't matter. If you're not on the, on the game plan today, she don't let you have it right there, right? That's the way coaches That's should how coach. it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's right? exactly how If you how feel like the coach is working for you, like yep. loves you, cares about you, wants you to be good, then there sh- should be nothing that you wouldn't take from that coach. Shout out to you that you're not an AAU dad. Oh, yeah. AAU dads would have been mad. Why, yeah, why no, you, I know. A, a, well, he's dad, been there. You, right, he knows. right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like, you you not only condone it, but you, you co-sign it. Oh, yeah, no, I listen, it. here, I'm sitting here and at my alma mater. I'm watching her. I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting right behind the bench. I'm sitting, all, I'm looking, are you serious? Is this, is this really going on today? I like, <laughs> like, we had a dog fight. You ain't nothing on the board yet. I mean, wow. I, like, you a 15-point well, dog fight. Well, that move like, likely <laughs> won the game for Maryland because clearly she lit a fire it, it, it under bought her some your time, daughter who came made a couple moves, couple things and then, couple the, buckets. then the then the seniors came to close it out, right? Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm.